Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Amber. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute since I've been on this channel, and by a minute, I think it's actually going to make a year since I've even posted a video, but a lot of things have happened since then. I recently graduated high school. I mean, high school. Sorry, I wish I was still in high school. I recently graduated college from FIU here in Miami, and then I spent the summer in Seattle with my boyfriend. He got a job or an internship over there with Microsoft, which was such a great experience. And then I ended up pretty much almost moving in with my boyfriend his last semester in August yeah. at UF. And that was really fun because some of you guys may know if you follow me on Instagram or have seen some of my old videos about long distance. We have been in a long distance relationship for almost five years. We started dating in high school and that was very hard. So this August, August of 2019 was the first time that we actually got to pretty much be with each other without me worrying about oh I have to go back to Miami because I have class so that was honestly just an amazing experience we ended up moving out of there I can give you guys like a whole story time about that whole experience if you guys want comment down below but today enough of that um I'm gonna show you guys how I get the really gorgeous mermaid waves without using any heat at all, any hot tools. I just washed my hair. Um, I kind of let it air dry just a little bit just because my hair is very thick and long and I just think it helps a little bit with the process. And this is a two day process. To tell you guys about my hair, I have very straight hair and it's very thick, it's very long, so it's very hard for it to curl. So what I do, I feel like if your hair is easier to curl, maybe you don't need to do this whole overnight process, but I, it has worked best for me like this. What I do is I wash my hair, and then I start sectioning it off, putting it into braids, and I end up going to bed like that. When I'm about to go to my event or go wherever I want to go, then I release the braids, and I'll show you guys that later on in this video, and it just looks gorgeous. It lasts for about two good days. Um, the second day it's a little bit more like a voluminous, but that's also pretty cute. I like to put it in a pony when it gets like that. And yeah, that's enough talking. Let me start and show you guys what I do. So I literally just freestyle it and I just grab, you know, a good amount and I feel it out and I just start braiding. There's not really a technique to this, that's why I like it, it's very easy. Normally, the only product that I put in my hair when I do this is a leave-in conditioner. But today I wanted to do it with mousse because I've been wanting to try it out with mousse to see if it leaves it a little bit more defined. So that's what I'm going to do today. But I don't like to put a lot of product in my hair. So for you guys at home, if you don't like to or if you don't have mousse, just use any leave-in conditioner. I promise you it works just as well. Just make sure that your hair isn't dry and it's still damp because that's obviously what's gonna get the shape. You want it to dry in that shape. So if it does get a little bit dry, just re-wet your hair. And let's start the braiding. I'm gonna be using Pantene. After like 30 minutes to honestly an hour, I don't know, I didn't keep track, I finished all the braids. Normally, like I said, I do it with leave-in conditioner, but since I'm doing it with mousse, I'm just going to use the same process that I normally do. I'm just going to put a little bit extra all over, just to like take away any of the frizzies, and especially here in the front, I like it to be very slicked. Then we're pretty much done. What I am going to do is I'm actually going to wrap my head, like my forehead because I feel like throughout the day it gets a little frizzy and if I'm moving around running errands my hairs my trenzas kind of start to come undone and also I have gone out in the street like this which I wouldn't mind going out like this if it was divided evenly but since it's not sometimes I feel like a crazy person but I've done it I don't care but I thought I could just put a cute bandana over so you just see my braids in the back and I don't look that crazy so I'm gonna put a bandana and I'm even going to try to sleep with the bandana and see if it's the same results or better than normal. Because normally I just braid it like this, but leave in conditioner, go to bed, wake up, I'll have frizzies, I undo it, fix it up a little, and it works just as fine. But I'm going to see, I just want to try it out, so that's what I'm going to do. Much better actually. 
Ooh, I like how it feels. Oh my god, so cute. All right, guys, so I just put this cute little bandana that I found that was actually my mom's or is my mom's. Um, so thanks, mom. And yeah, I'm just going to go about my day, run my errands, do my stuff. And I'll check in with you guys a little bit later or actually in 24 hours. And then let go of these braids. And yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, coming to you live from the next day. It's like 11 o'clock at night. I finally undid my braids. I put a little bit of oil on like the top of my hair just to tame down a little bit of the frizz. I kind of like some of the frizz though because it's trying to just look like natural hair. And yeah, this is pretty much it. This is the finished product. I really like how it came out. It was super easy to do. No heat. I know a lot of people have recreated this with the waver wand curler thing. But again, this is just with no heat, so it's not going to do damage to your hair. And it's so easy. Just braid it, go to bed, wake up, and this is it. I'm going out now with my friends, and I need to catch the Uber. It's like 11.30 at night. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, of course, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.